Hi, my name is Jan Pointer, and I'm here today for Opus Art Supplies to introduce you to a new line of muted paints from Liquitex. I'm going to be doing some techniques and show you a demo of how I use my muted colors as underpainting and glazes today. So we're here today to talk about muted colors, and we really need to ask ourselves, why is it artists are always trying to mix muted colors? What's wrong with the colors straight out of the tube? Most of the time, the colors that come straight out of the tube are much too bright and saturated to really represent what we would see in nature. Experienced artists learn to neutralize and gray down those colors. This new range from Liquitex actually does that for us. Now that we've talked a little bit about muted colors, I'm going to give you some tips and techniques about how I use them within my own process. And the first thing I'm going to do is some line work with the muted inks. I'm using a very long script brush or rigger brush. This is an Opus Bravura brush. And you'll see the advantage of the very loose watery ink and getting a lovely scripty hand-drawn line. This also works just to create a permanent reference for you to follow. The ink is great for line work because it flows off the brush. It's not like working with watered down paint. It's actually a really great intense color. You can thin and mix slightly with some water, but you shouldn't be adding too much water because it starts to break down the bonding between the particles of ink and the surface. When I want to thin, I actually use Liquitex Airbrush Medium, and you can use this for thinning any of your paints because they're all intermixable. This is what I like the script brush for, is to just do little flicks and small work that has lots of character. So I'm using the Opus Matte Medium to mix with my soft-bodied Liquitex Muted Colors. So when I'm making a glaze, I gradually mix tiny increments of paint into that medium. Now the matte medium looks milky and it looks kind of chalky now, but it will dry clear and that blue will come up a nice transparent blue. The reason I'm making a glaze is that I want to go right over top of the painted lines that I've created here and see the lines through the glaze. I'm going right over the leaves of the palm trees so that I don't have to worry about painting around them. They're far too complicated. And I want all those little scraps of blue sky to show as negative space in between the palm branches. I like using the muted colors as the underpainting in my pictures because to make something look sunny and bright, I think it needs to be next to something more muted and toned down. If you start with light colors and you're trying to paint brighter, it's a real challenge to get it bright enough. So by having a muted background, I can then paint brighter colors on top of that and still have a nice undertone and color to it. The soft bodies are good for glazing because they flow and you get a really nice consistent blend. And I'm not too worried about the brush marks in this because I am gonna be going over it with highlighted paints later. So what you'll see happening is really, really nice muted red color going down and I can still see all of my line work. So now I have a nice background color to paint my bright shed with later. Sometimes in my paintings I let the line work show and sometimes I fill it in. So I like this stage where I can still see the lines even under this dark color. I really like the muted gray because it creates that neutral purple gray that I'm always striving to mix. I used to spend ages making extra special containers of this color. I could never get it the same. So what I'm going to do right now is go over and I'm going to bracket my hand just to steady my hand. And I'm going to go in over top of my drawing. With practice, you can make really interesting marks, thick and thin and thick and thin, that look like these palm fronds. So now everything's looking a bit dark and dreary for a sunny day in Mexico. 
but I've created a really nice, rich background to work with. Now that I've finished doing my glazes in the muted Liquitex colors, I'm gonna start with the heavy bodied paints and some bright saturated mixtures over top of the glaze. Here I go backwards into those branch marks that I made earlier, and I'm just gonna fill that area. I'm going to use my flat brush with lots of paint on one side and drag it very carefully to capture that metal roof edge and blend this up. So I have to be conscious of the level that I've created because I'm going to mix another set of blue sky colors that will get a little deeper and richer as it goes up into the sky. So taking that mixture and cutting into the palm leaves, keeping the marks nice and loose and fresh, working backwards, flicking into those corners. I'm gonna use a big blob of paint and cover this area. And it's really nice because I don't have to physically paint all around the edge of every palm branch because the blue sky color that I originally put down fills in and gives me a nice feeling of lightness. I've got yet another blue mixed up. This is an ultramarine mixture. I can take a couple of runs of the previous paint color and blend it, leaving some paint marks. While I'm at it, I'm going to make sure that I touch in this little bit of blue sky and the sunlight on the inside of the blue boat. So now I've got a blue boat in shadow and a blue boat in light. And there's that sunlight sitting on the side of the shed. It's fun to kind of touch up a little bit in the details. You have to be very careful with your shadow lines to make sure that they're still in sync. I'm gonna get a nice edge around my shadow but then I'm gonna dry brush and actually let that shadow color show through as if it's textures on the sand. I'm gonna use a bright yellow just to top off one more color for the shits. And because it's a glaze, that gray shadow becomes a yellow shadow. And with that square brush, I'll make sure my brush is nice and square and even. A little bit of sunlight on my palm tree. My feeling is the muted colors make the sunny colors sing. So I hope you guys all have as much fun with the new Liquitex muted colors as I'm having and that you've learned some new techniques that you can integrate into your own painting practice. I'm Jan Pointer for Opus Art Supplies and thanks for watching.